The Orlando Magic are 13-3 and over their last 16 games. Also, since January 28th, there's only one team in the league that's racked up 14 wins. The Magic are 14-4 and during this time, following Wednesday night's 119-109 to victory over the Washington Wizards. Now, I know it comes against the Wizards, but the Magic were able to come back down 21 in the first half, making it their largest comeback victory of the season and tied for the sixth largest in franchise history. Franz Wagner scored 28 points and Paulo Bancaro filled up the box score with 25 points, 6 rebounds, and 10 assists. Mo Wagner scored 14 of his 16 points in the final frame and Jalen Suggs had 19 while Cole Anthony had 11 points. The Magic shot 53.7% from the field, their 5th straight game shooting 50 plus percent. That's tied for the third longest such streak in team history. The franchise record is eight, set in 1994. Earlier this season, they had a streak of six consecutive such performances. Now, before we continue on, guys, do me a solid, hit that like button, and smash that subscribe button down below for more Magic content just like this. Your support is greatly appreciated. We're trying to hit 36K on this channel so you guys can help me do just that. The Magic are now in sole possession of the number four seed in the Eastern Conference. Who would have thought at this point of the season, the Magic would be in fourth? And they have a huge matchup coming up against the New York Knicks as the Magic try to hold on to that fourth seed, which would give them home court advantage for the first round of the playoffs. It's the first time Orlando has spent a full day in the top four since January 1st, when the team was 19 and 13. Since then, the Magic have posted an 18 and 13 record. At the All-Star break, Orlando was in a tie with the Heat for the seventh seed, but a seven and one mark since has the Magic moving up the ranks. And you look at the Magic, they will have a golden chance to maintain that spot in the standings. As you look at their upcoming schedule, the Magic will play 10 of their next 11 games at home. And of those games, all but two come against teams with records better than the Magic. So if Orlando is able to take care of business, they may be on their way to hosting a first round playoff series. For much of the last decade, this has been the time of year for this Magic team where they would start to look ahead to next season. However, this season, the Magic are looking ahead to a potential playoff run. Entering the final quarter of the season, the Magic are in the driver's seat to have a favorable playoff seat in the East. And you look at this team, they have already surpassed last year's win total. So the Magic have exceeded all expectations. And this is a team that no one's really talking about. And quite frankly, the Magic have been the biggest surprise story in the NBA this season. Looking at where they were last season and where they are now. It's just been a remarkable turnaround for this young squad. And the most intriguing part about this is that the Magic are here to stay. And they're only going to get better. This is not a flash in the pan. This feels like the beginning of a team that's on its way to becoming a contender. Nobody in the national media thought that the Magic would be here at this point of the season. I mean, the expectation for the Magic at best from the beginning of the season was that they were going to be in the play-in tournament and that's where I had them however this team is in the top four and they're going to have a tremendous opportunity of keeping that positioning down the stretch here as you look at the magic this is going to be a playoff team for the foreseeable future now before we continue on with today's video guys I want to talk to you all about today's video sponsor BetUS. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. And BetUS will give you an 125% bonus, not only your first deposit, but on your first three deposits, up to $2,500 using the promo code JOIN125. Plus, they'll give you 10% gambler's insurance for your net losses if you're active every six months. If you look at the BetUS website, you can bet on the NBA, which is what I'm doing. You can parlay together some games, take a team straight up, or even... You could put some money on this Magic team. When you look at the futures, take a look at this. You put just 10 bucks on the Magic to make the NBA Finals to win the Eastern Conference, $10 is a thousand bucks. I know it's a long shot, but hey, you never know. So get in on the action, click the link down below. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. The Magic are set for a second straight season, making a 10 win improvement. They will be expected to continue this trajectory next year too. The Magic, they are on 
the climb here. They are on the rise. And one thing we do know is that this is not the same Magic team. And there is no ceiling for the Magic this year either. I mean, they have already exceeded everyone's expectations. And when you look at the squad, you shouldn't put any limitations on them. So expect the unexpected, especially as we get closer down to playoff time. And you look at the man leading the charge for this Magic team, first-time All-Star, Paolo Bancaro, who makes the All-Star team in just the second season in the NBA. And this man deserves his respect. He has taken his game to another level. And take a look at Paolo Bancaro over his last 16 games, guys. He is averaging 23.7 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 6 Point three assists per game. There's got to be more talk about Paolo Bancaro. In just his second season, he is becoming an elite player in this league, and he is developing each and every game. This is only his second year in the league, and look how good he has already become. So the sky is the limit on how good Bancaro can be, and he looks like he's got all the makings of being a true superstar in the NBA for a while. And the fact that he can do it all i mean you look at his game he can attack the paint he can bully his way to the basket he could shoot it from beyond the arc he can hit turnaround jumpers he can play make at a high level he just does so many things and has so many weapons in his arsenal that makes him tough to contain i mean versatile he can attack he can take over with his jump shot paulo bancaro is proving to the entire league that the orlando magic made a smart choice drafting this guy and he is leading this magic team to new heights and the rest of this magic team are following his lead you look at paolo he's an all-star then you got to talk about franz wagner he's on his way to becoming an all-star the magic's two young stars they are setting the tone right now for this team so the magic they have deceived all of us and they are better than what a lot of people expected at this point in the season and they are here to stay the magic this is a young team on the rise. They did it the right way. They built this thing back up properly. They got star play. They got a superstar type player in Ben Carroll. Wagner has been a tremendous sidekick to him. They got tremendous role players. Great coach. Everything is coming together for Orlando. And again, I feel like not enough people are talking about this. The Magic are the biggest surprise team this season. They have made the biggest wave. And... It's just wild to see how far they have come considering how much losing this team has done in the previous season. So Magic fans, enjoy this. We'll see if this team can keep it up and we'll see if they're able to secure a top four spot entering playoff time. And that would be a spectacle, wouldn't it? The Orlando Magic hosting game one of an NBA playoff game in the first round at home. Let me know your thoughts on this Magic team, guys. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more. That is it for me. This is Lucas signing off. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next video.